What's up, dog? Been Long time. Since you've been on the vlog, and you know. You're... What happened to the Ford, bro? Ah. Uh, yeah, just seven miles of Galoo is just hurting. <laughs> <laughs> you wagon, go my way. Exactly. A not, black wood. Not a jig wagon. When, yeah. when has anyone ever seen a black wood? I know. My pops had one actually Jeez. when I was a kid, and I've always wanted one. And I had the chance to trade the F 250, took all the stereo and stuff out, and straight trade, got myself a black wood. It's, like, it's nice, but it's low key the world's most useless truck. I'm just getting uh, your wheel specs. Oh, okay. That's fine. What is going on, guys? Hope you guys are doing good. We're back with another video. We're here with the E36 again. I know a lot of you guys are like, bro, where's the Honda content? Where's the S2K? It's coming, bro. And if I look sweaty, it's because I am. It's hot as fuck. Let's get into the video. So big shout out. To, you, you guys might recognize this box. Big shout out to Max Peening Rods. They hooked your boy up again with another set of coilovers for the E36. So as you guys, if you guys watched the last coilover install, I have the, uh, I believe they're called the SP1s on here. They're the blue coilovers. I rode them to Vegas. They rode amazing. I really like those coilovers. And now they gave your boy the most upgraded coilovers to the line these, these are the t1s so here they are these are like a silver grayish color so they're not blue but these are upgraded so let's look at the differences all right so these are the fronts again quality already looks amazing just like the blue ones so these have 24 way adjustability with the dampening and uh they're supposed to be a little stiffer rate springs as well a little bit lower as well and yeah guys, I'm really excited to test them out. After we do the install, I will be comparing the two coilovers. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I was really impressed with these. Like I said, I rode them to Vegas. That's about the only time I rode on these, but uh, it drove amazing. Hey, there was plenty of dips for me to uh, test these out. And yeah, it, it felt very comfortable. I was really, really impressed with these. You guys remember the blue ones still looking clean. So now, oh well, uh, I, I kind of like the blue, but the silver gray is a nice touch, but yeah, I do like how the blue ones look. So Jesse wanted a challenge for himself. He said he wanted to go for the, uh, the quickest call over install. install. So we're not exactly sure what the record for that is, unless you by any chance might know. Uh, like under an hour and a half or something like that. Oh, okay. I can't remember. I might be wrong. Somebody can quote me, can figure it out, but I'm going to go for like 45 to an hour. So let's see, man. He's going to do it by himself. Yeah, so I, I think got it. I kind of yeah. cheated. I got like all the all the wheels off. So you guys gotta give us a break, cause you know we're competing against fucking YouTube channels that have like lifts and shit. You know, so yeah. like it's not fair. So I think so, the challenge should start from right here. Yeah, let me let's let's get the. Let's get the time. <laughs> Woo! Hey, this is your trials for uh, F1. Yeah. This is my trial for F1. Yeah, or NASCAR, whatever you prefer. We do NASCAR. I want to be in the Le Mans pit crew next week or tomorrow. I'm going, chef. Yes, chef. We doing over here. I'm uh, so I'm trying to figure out how to slam the front. The back is already pretty slammed down, but now we just have to make some clearance, make this front go down, get rid of some of that uh, rake, and uh, get this shit planted. We're gonna raise this radiator a bit. That radiator took. Yeah, cause it's, it's touching. I feel in champ. Feel good. You better be a defending uh, champion. Sure, I'm feeling feel like Cena in 08. <laughs> feel me? That's one. Wanna grab the gun real quick? Make sure that bolt didn't fall. But oh. That's cool. In front of the ground. Coil one, number one out if you want to compare this boy right here, this beautiful boy. Uh, These are actually really nice. Let's get the time real quick. Let's get the time real quick. Hold on, man. Open it. Open it. Stopwatch. Okay, we're at three minutes. First coil is out. But uh, yeah, let's compare them. They still look really brand new. They are brand new. So here they are side by side. Side by side, they look pretty similar, but they do have their differences. Impacto. Come on, bros, your tryouts. Impacto. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay, he's like, 
I said, what is this? What kind of bolt tightening is that? I'm sorry, chef. I'm sorry, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Wow. Two coilovers in under five minutes? Yeah. In under five minutes. I can put it in the front now, right? Yeah. Are they different? Or should we know? No. Doesn't seem like they are. Left. And this is the left. Come on, baby. Driver side is in. We kind of had a li little setback. No fault to Jesse. No fault to Jesse. Just had a little setback, but uh, yeah, they're in there. Left side just needs to be bolted back up. And now the passenger is already going in, bro. I think I think he's looking good on the time. I got some difficulties along the way. A lot of sailor cussing from Jesse, but sailor cussing indeed. Rear spring is in. Rear, rear spring, spring is in. Is in. Now I just got to do the strut, and uh, then I'm gonna I'm gonna start on the other side. And we already finished the front. I, I have no idea where I put a bolt. My pit crew leader is gonna yell at me right now. Missing the nut for the uh, bottom bolt to hold up the shock. It disappeared, just like a 10 millimeter, just just disappeared. Don't know where. Just a glitch into the back rooms. All right, guys, all four corners are in. The wheels are in. What was the time? 53 minutes. So I promise you guys we just paused it. it we paused it because we're looking for the bolt or the nut. 53 minutes. Good job. Good job. Hire me! Alright, he's ready, F1 crew. F1, he's ready. hire me! Yeah, yeah, all we need is this bolt, last bolt, and then pretty much it's it. So. Yeah, we really, it's crazy. Like, we really don't know. That's the only thing stopping us. <laughs> and it was weird. It was here, and then it just was not here. Found a nut, guys. After, uh, that probably took the longest, honestly. That was the longest. Also, they got thrown on as is, so we're gonna have to adjust them later. So however they ride, that's how they ride for, uh, today. But they will get adjusted. Already, it looks like the rear is gonna be sitting a little bit lower, so that's good because it did have a little bit of a rake to it, so... If the rear can go lower, that'd be cool. It definitely can. The rears are, uh, these bottoms are actually shorter than the, the actual max speeding rods. So... And we did take off the spring. The springs actually seemed a little bit stiffer than the ones that we had originally. I think, uh... Yeah, it's like a thicker of a coil. Yeah, I think the new ones are 9 and 11. I'm not sure, but these you might You feel be. the quality compared to the yellow ones on these. Yeah. But on these, it actually feels like like a BC or like a, like a True Heart, like an actual coil over compared to like pri prior ones where they felt like, you know, a little, a little looser. But, and these actually, I really like these. Yeah, these are really these good are really quality, nice, and know? these are step these, up yeah. from these. So it's like the bottom ones are like a C, these are like a B, these are like A. These are their top top of the line coilovers. So yeah, man, Max Peanut rods are really really stepping it up. Thank you guys again for saying the coils. Good and job, Max Peanut. You're doing good. I, that's not the only coils we have in here. But uh, oh yeah, my boy picked up some coils for the XB. Mm-hmm. Some, some nice red nines in that little box over there by the LS. I'm about to have two slam whips. Well, actually, one functional slam whip and then one non functional. My boy is really gonna slam the, the Scion XB. Scion XB really about to be dumped. Yeah. yeah, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Definitely. Alright, guys, car is back on the ground. And like we uh, had mentioned before, it's gonna need some adjustments because we were sitting lower before. <laughs> Especially, way lower <laughs> especially in the front but like we said with these we can go lower so the rear is for sure probably gonna go like another two inches mm -hmm. and the front like three inches and i do need uh new tires they're gonna be a slightly smaller 215s but um 215 yeah. 45 17 would be perfect yeah so uh yeah don't worry guys this is not gonna be the final thing unless i mean it does kind of look fire the think? front actually would 225 45 17 what it, we we could be able to fit that in the rear no yeah. problem I would say we should, we should probably test, so when we dump it, we'll probably lower it. We'll dump the front how we want it, and then I'll take the rear wheel, and I'll put it in the rear, and I'll measure out how low we want it, and then I'll compensate for that big ass tire until you're ready for smaller wheel or smaller tires. <laughs> also guys, if we look musty, we apologize. We have to turn off the fan. I had to turn off the fan in order in order to uh, you know record or else you know, I'm gonna be like yeah so guys uh, the new cola, new cola is in and then we're in right now and then right now we're feeling good. Always. Dark. 
keep torquing. If you go to a tire shop and they don't torque your wheels, just, just leave. Get your money back. Just say, hey man, torque my wheels. Say, hey man, you ain't torque my wheels. Hey, bro, I, just my seen, money, man. I just seen a couple of good duggas, but I ain't seen no torque. You hear that? I think it's. It might be torqued. It's like the next week, actually. Um, so that day when we put on the coals, we just had stuff to do. So we kind of just put them on. And like I said, we just threw them on as is. So they're not adjusted at all. As you guys can see, we got a lot of wheel gaps still. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to be adjusting them. And again, that, getting that fitment right. Pepe fitment, baby. But uh, yeah, you know, you can't, can't be rolling around like that. So we're going to lower it all around, right? We can still lower the rear. Yep, we can lower actually the whole car a lot. Um, I like i said we just do it under no nope. no adjustments nothing i think it was what 50 58 minutes in total yeah it was about 50 minutes what took a lot of time we lost one of the uh, nuts for the uh the shock the bottom of the shock right yeah it was the bottom of the yeah. shock to connect everything yeah so we're looking for that it it was in in the wheel literally it was on the barrel so uh, yeah i pulled the wheel to pop on that side and it just fell out and i was like yeah that took a lot of time but uh yeah now we're gonna make the fine adjustments and make it look good adjustments always take a long time yeah long long that time. that fine tuning we actually went uh took it for a little spin and it felt really good yeah it felt actually very comfortable and the car sounded very very good i, I know you, he was having issues with shifting and oh my god this thing fucking just was wop, wop. <laughs> yeah so and also the battery was draining so i just wanted to charge it up a little bit and also you know i missed driving the car felt good now we gotta make it look good And over here, we have both of the front coils off. We're gonna be adjusting them right now. It's easier to adjust them off the car, so. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy. It's not that hard, we got it. But yeah, guys, we're finally gonna get it fitted. Big shout out to Max Peanut Rods again. Max you guys are the best. Go. Hey, Jesse said if you guys make some coils for the Scion XB, let If you guys know. make some from the Scion XB, I'll take them any day of the <laughs> week. I'll get off these Rev 9s ASAP. Let them know, let them know. So if you guys don't want to um, spend the time like spinning your coils like this, get an impact socket that fits with your impact and lightly. Now you don't have to do anything else. Nice and maxed out. You maxed me out? Maxed you out. Because we're all max peeing rods. Because we all max peeing We gotta max them out. I want you guys to tell me what's, uh, what's different with XB. Just, uh, I don't know. Just, just, just general area. I didn't do anything. You even got the wing on there now? Oh, I got the jack. Maybe there was the jack in the box thing. I got the. Oh, yeah. That, that's what's the difference. Yeah, yeah. Just let you guys know they still sell these. $1.50. At Jack in the Box? At Jack in the Box. I, I asked for it and the lady just gave it to me. She's like, nobody asked for these anymore. You can have it. And I was like, oh, cool. Guys, my boy lowered the XB. I showed you guys earlier in the vlog. He got coils and he has a. He's borrowing these stocks from Joseph. These are his stockies from uh, the Camry. But, uh, yeah, so. Shout out Illis Julio for letting me use his lug nuts because I didn't have any lug nuts. I noticed that too. Nice, nice touch. The copperish, red, reddish, faded orange. red. But I got the, I got the red, red dice caps just off the just LS. Just gotta roll the dice sometimes. Just gotta roll the just dice. Roll the that's dice and, and lower your car. And get lucky. That's how to roll the dice and get lucky. Shout out the get lucky boys. Yeah, I think it looks really good, especially with these wheels. Oh yeah, thank you. Just throw the spacers on. The one inch spacers? Like at first when he picked up this car, I was I was not a fan, but now guys, I see the vision. Especially with the wing. Just yeah. I don't know. It looks it looks good. Let me know if you guys like it. Alright guys, so both of the fronts are matching and now it's just time to put them in and we'll see. See how they look. Should look a lot better than before if you guys remember that wheel gap. Alright guys, so many hours later, finally on the ground. That's how we're looking. 
It kind of looks similar to how it was before, but uh, we still got some adjusting we could do. We could still take out the colors on the front and the rear. We could still mess with it a little bit, but uh, just for now. What do you think? I think it looks good. Um, so the only thing I noticed is this doesn't really like, I mean, it clears a lot more. So I think that these springs are a little stiffer. Uh -huh. a, a, yeah, they're a lot supposed stiffer. To, yeah, they're supposed to you be stiffer. You can see the, the coils a little, uh, are like a lot more thicker than the, uh, the, the other ones. We should have done a side by side comparison about uh, them. Yeah. But I noticed they are thicker. Um, I adjusted the actual strut so it sits lower. But the only issue was is, it, is uh, the way we were adjusting them was pulling off the bolt and then unthreading them like that. So the way that we're going to do it next is just actually twist it down. Yeah, so we did go drive it around earlier. These coils do feel a lot better. The other coils felt good too, but yeah, just driving it around just to block real quick. These coils feel really good. So big shout out to Max Peterhouse again for sending me their newest coilovers to check out. If you guys are interested, link will be down below if you guys want any of their sets of coilovers. These are the newest ones that they gave me and I really like them. Can't wait to go on a, a long drive with them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Another coilover install on the E36. Next video will for sure be comparing the two. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. More vlogs on the way. I know it's been like two weeks since we've last uploaded, but uh, yeah, man, it's been uh, it's been busy. But uh, another vlog, another vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please drop a thumbs up for the video. It really helps out with the algorithm. If you guys are new, please consider subscribing. More vlogs are on the way. And yeah, man, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Later.